Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm back with another Planet Coaster video, and I've done a few things off camera, and today I'm also going to be building a log flume. Um, first of all, I if you can't, I changed the food court paths. I made them gridded so it doesn't mess with my OCD. And then I also added a station around the wind coaster, and this makes me... Oh, well, this makes me a lot happier, but I forgot to do the bottom of it, but that's okay. But, guys, if the if the audio, like, my voice audio sounds, sounds, like, off from the video, from what is being recorded, that is because I'm doing an audio overlay right now, because the audio in the video, well, it didn't get corrupted, but I forgot to turn my mic on, or I thought it was on, and it wasn't, so... I lost, I don't have any audio, voice audio anyway, so, this is the best I'm gonna do, so, anyway, it will, it worked, I didn't realize until, I didn't realize that my mic was off until after the time lapse later in the video, so you'll hear, I might, you'll hear the voice in, you'll hear my voice, like, in time, with the video, at, right after the time lapse, but there's not much after the time lapse to really do, or here, so, Anyway, guys, as you can see, I also changed the name. I, it's Hills of Thrills, and I didn't change much, like, key line wise like, uh, scenery-wise, anything that I just really did um, in the station. I also changed, I also named the other rides. This ride is called Swing Towers, um, and then the Kid Coaster is called The Guardian of the Castle, and then... Octopus flat ride I named Rock and Octopi. So those are good names. So now here in a minute or so I'm gonna start build be building the log flume. See as you can see right now I'm trying to decide which I want. And I end up choosing the log flume. So I was debating on whether to do go karts or, or river rapids or um, the log flume, but I went with the log flume since it's probably the easiest and it takes the, the, least, the least amount of amount of space. Um, now, as you can see, I start to do the chain lift, but I bring it back down because I decide to turn it to the right. A little bit and now after turning it to the right a little bit I decided to um, I decided to start doing the chain lift or whatever you want to call it um, so yeah and once I got to the top of the chain lift as it's not it's I don't think it's very tall but it is but not at the same time well the drop I was kind of confused on because well I didn't see I didn't know how to do the um drop kind of straight like as straight down as possible without it being messed up and I didn't know how to do the splash down part so I had to figure that out and yeah so I ended up fixing, I ended up realizing how to fix that, so I did, um, which is nice. So, and then after this, I, right here, this is where I didn't know how to do splash down, so I had it, I had to figure that out, and I... Ended up eventually figuring it out, but it took me a second to actually figure it out. Um, but once I did, it wasn't that bad, really. So, yeah. And then after that, I decided to turn to the right just to move it and just not keep it in the same place but that and then I also 
but eventually decided instead of turning it completely around, I decided to turn it to the left a little bit. So, yeah, guys. Um. Oh, sorry. Um, then I started to do, I don't know why I just went quiet, but then I started to do the chain lift, or a second chain lift, and I decided to bring it around to the right instead of going straight down like I did the first drop. And then I brought it just a smidge more right, and I straightened it out, and then I went back down to what I had it. Or back down to that same kind of drop that I had and then I started then I went to the splashdown area and I didn't have a lot of room so I had to end up bringing it back and fix it fixing it so then I brought it around to the left and um then I go back up to a third chain hill, but this one wasn't that big. It was just kind of making sure. I kind of just did that to make sure it wasn't too short of a, or too long of a track. So, I decided to do that. And then... And then I go back into a splashdown. It was probably too long for what it needed to be, but it's whatever. So then I bring it back to the r bring. It, then I bring it to the right, somewhere. Or I br I t bring it to the right originally, and then I decide to bring it back to where I had it, and um. Well, instead of doing that, I decided to turn left a li just a little bit, and then bring it right to make it easier. And I saw the thing. So at this point, it was tr I was just trying to figure out. Well, not trying to figure out. I was, at this point, I was just trying to find a, I was just trying to find a autocomplete, and I tried to use the autocomplete, like, in the radio menu, but I couldn't, because there wasn't a radio, there wasn't in there, but, so instead of, I decided to just, figure out and just wait to get one and after that I decided to test it and I eventually just sped I sped it up I sped up the speed so that way I could um I could find and get my playlists or not my playlist uh my scores Faster. I don't know why I just said playlists, but whatever. Um, so I could get my scores a lot faster instead of just having to wait a second. I'm like waiting a little bit. So then, um, then I had to deal with once the ride was over, or once I got my scores, I had to deal with figuring out how to, um, I had to deal with ha trying to figure out how to get the paths around, and that wasn't that wasn't very easy. Um, at that point, I had to the exit was pretty easy, but the, the queue the queue line I had to literally basically just go. I had to go over part of the ride, which wasn't. I mean, it wasn't hard, but it wasn't like that nice to be doing. It wasn't that easy to be doing so and then yeah so that was annoying but it's whatever uh 
as you can see, I start to do the Q line here. Um, yeah, the Q line wasn't easy to get around everything, but I mean, what do you? I mean, what can I do? Like, I don't have, I don't have control over that. So. I'm tired guys, sorry, I went, I worked at a fireworks stand last night, and, yeah, I worked at a fireworks stand till almost 10 o'clock, and then get home till 10 o'clock, and I then go to bed till 10.30, which is pretty late for me, or it's not pretty late for me, but it's, like, a little late for me, so, I'm kinda tired, and I woke up at, like, 10 this morning, so, I mean, I had a good night's sleep, but whatever. Off topic, now, as I bring the exit, you'll see how it's not that, it wasn't that bad. But my angle snap is a lot, I have a 45 degree angle snap now, if you can't tell, because so th when I was doing the, uh, when I was doing the food court, I had to do that, so that way I could do the grid. Cause I didn't know how to do the grid, so I had to search up a dang video. So, yeah, that sucked, but it is what it is. So here in like a few, like in 30 seconds, I will be starting to do the time lapse, and that'll be it for basically the overlay. Because, as like I said, you'll hear my voice at the end of the video right after the time lapse so anyway guys um, and you'll see I open the red and I'm just about to do a time lapse and we'll, I'll see you guys after the time lapse bye guys Okay guys, welcome back. This is what I've done. Um, it's good for what I, what we need. Um, wait, hold up. 12% scenery. What do you mean? Okay, that's done. I'll fix that off camera. Anyway guys, this will be the, this will be it for this episode. Um, This will be it for the episode. Since, um, this has been a long time. But, anyway guys, I'll see you in the next 
Planet Coaster episode. Bye, guys. Yeah.